I'm Kathy Savage and I'm an artist and I'm a printmaker that has space over at Pump Project Satellite and uh, the show is about Nikola Tesla. It occurred on his birthday, July 10th, uh, 2010. I co-curated with, uh, with Cody Scrogan, uh, another, another artist that is in the same building and we just, the intention of the show was just to celebrate Tesla because he really has um, not been given his fair shake. It's like my personal quest to like, tell the world about, about, about him, I guess. Um, and so when I was having a conversation with Cody, I was looking through his, his screen shirts you know, for his business and I thought, well, I'll just kind of look at these. And she came over and she's like, oh my God, is that Tesla? And I said, yes ma'am, that is. And she goes, is that Edison? And I said, yes, that is. And she said, I gotta have that t-shirt. And I'd say about 15 minutes into the conversation, she started talking about how they have celebrations for Nikola Tesla's birthday. And it turned into an event. How could we make this event happen? In all honesty, I would say the majority of how it happened had to do with Kathy's response to the t-shirt. Um, here we have Tesla over here, and he's got all these awesome arcs coming out of him. And then here's Edison, and all he has is this one lonely light bulb. So it just shows like how much Tesla really contributed to electricity. It's like he, you know, he needs to be known because he's so awesome. <laughs> Sounds kind of silly, but I guess I'm part of the Tesla fan club. You know, my son is eight years old. He's interested in science. I've been picking up books, you know, scholastic books from his, from his school on scientists and, um, you know, Tesla is just not in there. We had um, a technology enrichment program from, for kids, Bits, Bites and Bots is the name of the company, and they do robots and um, computer games and huge thing. But for the Roadster is, I, wanted, I was hoping to bring in the engineering community and I thought that that would be a good hook to get those people in here. Um, they're not generally um, part of the art community. They don't necessarily go to art shows, and so I thought this would be really fun. This is right up their alley. It's a subject matter they, they've known about for decades. It would be, it would be fun to have them participate. Um, so I really wanted them to come in, and I knew that the Roadster would pull them in. Anyway, the guy with the, with the healing lights, he had Tesla coils that you would meditate between. You know, they, they help you feel better, they energize you. You know, just visualize the energy coming into your head and pushing it out through your body like a stream, just flowing out through your feet. You close your eyes and just relax. And... Um, and that to me is more on the mystical side of Tesla. There are like two different sides of Tesla. There's the scientific side and then there's the mystical side of Tesla. And um, and there are these two camps that never shall meet. Um, and my husband's an electrical engineer, so I'm more on the scientific side. Um, but I did try the lights, and I have to say I, I, felt, I felt better. So, who's to say? <laughs> we had a gazillion different things going on. Uh, the first thing off, I got all of my friends that are in screen printing uh, involved. Uh, and we started our own collaborative called Think Tank. Uh, we extended out to artists. We had no idea that every single artist that we talked to was going to be excited and interested in getting into the show. Well, we had um, some printmakers because I'm a printmaker and I know other printmakers and um, some paintings. We had somebody did embroidery work and I was really hoping to get some of the craft kind of work because I, lo I love embroidery into the show. And we have that. We had some paper mache. So just a little bit of everything. And from there on out, it just branched out to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. We talked to uh, various musicians. They were all completely interested in doing it. Um, and of course, Pump Project was a huge contributor as well. We are giving the proceeds to Easter Sills, um, mainly because Nikola Tesla was uh, obsessive compulsive, and they have a chapter in Easter Sills that goes towards uh, research in that. People that are just these savant saints just really do a lot for me. So I couldn't believe, you know, the more and more I got into it, this guy was just as smart as they come. Brilliant, inside and out. He wanted to contribute. And Nikola Tesla was trying to power the whole world. He wasn't satisfied with the effect that 
just powering, you know, so so much wasn't enough for him. He he had he had ideas, he had visions about how he could help the you know the progression of man and how he could make electricity uh, available to everyone. Most of what we had here was just people volunteering. Everybody coming together. This never would have happened without them. It was an idea at first, and it became something exciting, extreme, and I think that we spread the word, and that was the main thing. People are, I think people maybe, hopefully they're still talking about Tesla right now, and hopefully they're going and they're getting uh, documentaries, and hopefully they're reading books, and hopefully they're inspired by what this guy that got shut down at it just dealt a bad hand, what he could do for our society and what he did for our society and how he tried to help, so. We're Architect, we're from Austin, Texas. Woo!